Right, how are you doing everybody? Okay, please see this video out to the conclusion to the end. So it's going to be three, four minutes. But the revelation of it will blow your mind. Okay? Right, in this box here, I have the ingredients for making the whole earth, the whole universe, everything. You ready? Let's take a look inside. Absolutely nothing. Now you're laughing, but that is what the majority of, well, many people think, that the world came about through absolutely nothing. All right? Well, actually, they believe in an eternal hydrogen atom that just always ever existed, and from that explosion came everything. You know, the DNA that created life, that tells you coded information, that's billions and billions of tons of information, that tells you exactly what every living thing, that, that, that was just all came about by chance. Um, the, the order and the perfection of, of the planets and the rotations and, um, and motion all came about by pure chance. You know, and I could go on, but, you know, they're just, now I, I know straight away some people are shouting at the TV or whatever you're watching this on and saying, yeah, but Paul, you believe also that something came from nothing. You believe God. And your theory is that, you know, God just is and just he's always ever existed. And I'll say to you, yeah. But here's the logic of it, right? Now, if you're saying, because we, we, we live, we, our minds are trapped in this thinking of, yeah, everything has to be created. Yeah, there has to be, if there's a creation, there has to be a creator. You know, I mean, the, the, the painting on the wall down the corridor, you know, the colours just didn't randomly form and create something meaningful, a scene like that of a boat on, on the water. It, somebody painted that, you know, wherever you see design, you see there must have been a designer. So there has to have been some intelligence behind all this creation, all this life that we see on the earth. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, right, well, who made God? Who made God? Now, here's the logic of it, right? If I said to you that if I named the person who made God, would, would you be satisfied with that? <laughs> you wouldn't. Because you'd say, well, hang on a minute. Who made him? No, who made the person who made God? Well, if I could then name the person who made the person who made God, would you be satisfied? No, because you'd want to know the person who made the person who made the person who made God. And eventually you just keep going back and back and back until you just eventually come to one being who made everything, who made everything. And that person is God. He just is. He just is. But you know he is. Because you can see the creation. I'm looking out my window now and I can see trees. I can see uh, flowers. I can see birds. There's loads of birds at the moment. You can hear them everywhere. They're taking over during lockdown. It's amazing. You know, the, the wildlife's coming out. And God made them all. And it's beautiful creation, the clouds, the water cycle. The... His handiwork is everywhere. This Creation, this design must have had a designer. And I believe that person to be God. And if you look around, you know, stop during lockdown, just look around at what you see around you, you'll come to that same conclusion. The Bible says, Psalm 14, verse 1, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Now, I don't think any of my friends are fools. I think deep, deep down, you know it. You know there's a God. Well, I urge you to search for him. To search for him during lockdown. Till you find him. Till you really realise his reality. 
and have that relationship that you can have with him. And I tell you what, it's getting me through. It is. Gets me through every day. He's amazing. And I want that. I want that for you too.